Hello my friends, William Poloniak here again from Whole Health Foundation. Today I'm making a juice that I'm calling a garden harvest juice because all of these greens came from my garden. I have here beet tops from four beets, French sorrel, a number of other ingredients. Let's take a look at them. In addition to my French sorrel and my beet greens, I have collard greens from several collard plants two um, celery plants, one huge beet, and one garlic head here, 130 grams of ginger and 200 grams of turmeric, plus carrots of course. So now the first thing I want to point out is I'm using the front loading feed tube and the near zero blowback cutter. So the first thing I'll do is put on my cutter And I'm going to plug in the thermometer because we have a large batch of juice. And the first thing I'll do is put in three or four ice cubes to cool down the cutter and the feed tube. We're at 23 degrees now. We can go as high as 35, almost 40, but there's a 10 second delay in the uh, cord. So let's start with the beet greens. I'm going to put half of these through now. Beet greens are very, very fibrous. Continue with my collars until we're done. Well, here's the last of my collars. again so I'm going to put in three more ice cubes then clean my grid and grid holder. All right we're down to 21 and the temperature is below 20 now. The ice cubes do a wonderful job. Let's put that in again and now I'm going to feed in my celery. But first I'm going to cut off a little bit of fruit. And I'll continue with my bread soil until I'm done with my greens. And remember, you'll be tempted to put a lot of greens through, but less is more effective. Notice my cutter is making a lot of noise, so I'm going to do two things. I'm going to clean my grid on both sides and reinstall this. And then I unplug the thermometer and take a look at my cutter. And usually there's a plug at the front of the cutter. There's a lot of fiber on here. Here's the plug at the front. I'm going to dig that out with a tip of a small knife. Might as well clean off this pulp while I'm here and reassemble and it will be a lot quieter. For some reason that little plug at the front of the cutter creates a little bit of noise. It probably pushes the cutter back a bit against the escutcheon. There we go, a lot quieter. More greens. nuts frequently. Here's the last of my greens. The last of the French sorrel. I'm going to follow that with carrots. So I'll take a few carrots out. Small and the big end. Juice. All whole 
Health Foundation users come with this cleaning brush. It's the perfect size for cleaning your feet tube. I'm going to use a wet brush to clean the front of the escutcheon and the front of the juicer. And either with a wet towel or a spray nozzle such as I have here, you clean the front, then reassemble. The cutter never stays on the shaft. That's a big, big mistake. It goes with the hole facing down to facilitate drainage. Next, mix the greens with the carrot pulp as thoroughly as possible. It looks about good enough. Greens mixed with the carrots. Next, we'll get some juicing cloths out of the freezer and we'll start making juice. I keep my cloths in the freezer. And I'm going to crack the ice on the edge of the countertop and I keep them in sets of six and I'll show you my six cloth less work method now. Let's separate these. Okay, we've unfolded our frozen cloths and we'll put them in the juice tray. Now we'll start making juice and we'll put three scoops, three large scoops of pulp into each cloth. That's about a cup and a half, maybe a cup. Fold it in thirds just like it came in the package. A little crease back here to enable folding and pull it into a tight package. Set it aside because we're going to press two cloths full at one time. Now let's get a juice tray, put it in the juicer. And I remind you, put it in on an angle because over time it stretches and it's kind of hard to get in there. So make sure it's on the juice tray properly. Two cloths full of pulp into the juice press. Centered left to right, centered front to back, all the way back, back it off a little. Now the reason you back it off a little is you don't want this to slip apart. You want to get good traction here until you advance it all the way. So while that's going up, we'll put in three more scoops. Here's my six cloth less work method. This goes forward, that goes over, the cloths go on top. Two more cloths full in the press. Centered left to right, make sure it's on the press plate properly. Centered front to back, adjust if need be, all the way back, back it off a little bit. Now never throw away your pulp. Two scoops, not three, on top of the old spent pulp. And later we'll put only one scoop on top because this pad is getting thicker and thicker. Flatten that, set it aside. Again, do not throw away your pulp. Two huge scoops, not three, just two, because you've got that patty down there. As I suspected, the bowl is too full, so this goes over, that goes over, the spent cloths go on top. We'll put that back so it doesn't drip on the countertop. Now notice this, you don't put it back a little, put it back a lot so it's very obvious. You don't want this dripping on the countertop. So let's fill some bottles. I'll fill this from the back side so the camera gets a good look at what I'm doing. And again, leaving about 10% for filtered or distilled water. You can even use tap water in your community or bottled water. If your tap water is pure, that's fine. And we'll pull the tray forward, put it on the press plate properly. Put in two more cloths full of pulp. Centered left to right, centered front to back, all the way back, back it off and turn on the machine. And we'll continue. Now this pad is getting pretty thick. I think we can get away with putting two scoops on here one more time. Let's put one and a half scoops. Now my friends, as you can see, I have three double packets of repackaged pulp. This is pulp that most people would throw away. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use a measuring beaker to show you how much extra juice I can make. I'm going to set this aside. Put the beaker here, put in two cloths into the press, and we'll press this already spent pulp. And remember, this is pulp that most people would throw away because nobody tells you there's more juice in there. 
So center, front to back, left to right, all the way back, back it off a little bit. And before I start the juicer, I want to point out that your most valuable nutrients and your most valuable juice comes from this last packaging of juice. So let's turn that on, all the way back, back it off a little bit. Now from this session we got 13 bottles of juice and I'm going to top this off with distilled water. Well, I'm topping this off with distilled water so there's no air in the bottle. That way it'll last up to 10 or 15 days. I'll drink these in 5 days or less though. So there we have 13 bottles. Let's cap these off and then we'll do a taste test. Now as you can see my friends we have 5, 10, 13 bottles of juice and remember two of these bottles came from repackaging and pressing the already spent pulp and that's juice that most people would throw away and we got enough for a taste test so let's do a taste test now well my friends here's a taste test for this batch of juice ah very tasty I can definitely taste the celery in this juice well I hope you uh, like what you've seen my friends if you do please tell a friend